Hello my soccer universe, <laughs> welcome to the first uh, Liga Eredivisie review of this new season, you know, you can expect it roughly bi-weekly, tri-weekly, some, uh, something, you know, every two, every three weeks, not bi-weekly, that means every twice a week, no, every two to three weeks I will uh, look at those two leagues, depending on what is happening, and uh, honestly, I feel so naive in a way, because I was watching uh, PSG, of course, twice, uh, seeing because I heard that in the Super Cup they played so well against Nantes. And what I saw, I actually like, I saw that um, both of the South American stars applied themselves very, very, very well. They were scoring many goals. It looked like a proper, uh, that they, you know, I don't want to say a proper team, but, you know, it seems like they have cut a corner and they're taking things seriously, seriously not this uh, party, whatever. Until I hear today, and you know, we have a long weekend. I, I literally did not follow much yesterday. Uh, and then I hear today that Mbappé is upset at Neymar and we're back at the kindergarten. It is... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know by now that I have uh, in for us, uh, I have some PSG leanings, uh, you know, still from the 90s or so since the Qataris came, came in, it was a little bit so and so. But, I, you know, um, being able to watch a superstar team, it's always fun to do. To, 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 to. I actually would have wanted them to win a Champions League uh, in, in a way, but exactly because of things like that. And we'll talk about this during the... Uh, when, 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 when I talk about it, just because of that. They will win the league uh, easily. They might even win a double. They will not win the Champions League unless they get this sorted out. And even under new management, Despite it looking relatively good on the pitch, they still have the same troubles. That the egos are taking over, and it's just, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know. It's it boggles the mind. It really boggles the mind. It's all me, 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 and not about the team. Um, on the other side, I actually think we'll have an exciting Eredivisie season ahead of us if the early signs are right both of the big title favorites you chose Ajax so Ajax is here both of the two title favorites are really in good form already uh, you know uh, both are still in Champions League quality uh, Ajax is in Champions League uh, PSV is in still in qualification beating Monaco uh, and I said it I said it already I'm gonna do a video uh, reviewing all the uh, European action that has been happening so so far and looking forward because, as I said, I followed it, but I have not made videos about those. So, yeah, uh, quite some interesting stuff. And I let's actually jump right in and let's start in the Netherlands, where, um, as I said, the season started uh, for Ajax in kind of a, you know, the result, I guess, Sita doesn't look all that, uh, that good. They were 1-0 down at that day for the rider. They have Taylor, Rensch and uh, Broby turned to turn around within like a 50, 50, 50 minutes and late on. Seated pulled pulled back, so Ajax were good to uh, off to a good start, but uh, they were outdone by PSV, who completely rolled over Emmen. And um, it is really watch the two nil the on goal. This is one of those on goals that is boggles the mind. It's even hard to do to describe. So uh, watch that. I I, I hope I, I remember you uh, during editing to uh, put the link up there. Because it is really, really a uh, ridiculous on goal. Uh, but you know, uh, PSV riding the high uh, and already having a little bit the, um, the game against Mon Monica Mine were up 4 0 before uh, Emin pulls on back. Emin, of course, newly promoted. But to me, the outstanding result uh, was Feyenoord destroying uh, Vitesse 5 2, and that despite uh, Vitesse take, taking a lead. You know, Vitesse actually. For two seasons, they were hanging in there with 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 the top boys, and then at the end of last last season, they were falling falling off. And uh, we will see all, all already for the results from next week, uh, from the this past weekend. Uh, the uh, the signs are that Vitesse are actually really 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 dropping uh, at the moment. Uh, so Manhuf uh, gives uh, Vitesse a, a lead, but uh, Wallemark equalizes Danilo may may make this two one. Then right after the half, Baden Frederiksen, who actually has played last season, was it two seasons ago, uh, in Wattens for Tirol, uh, gets an equalizer, and then um, Feyenoord are running away. And I thought this was really putting down a marker for Feyenoord. Let's see it, but that was an early, an early sign to, to me that Feyenoord is actually a team that we have to also watch and it might be three up there. 
all remains to be seen. I still may maintain that with Ajax uh, being a little bit, you know, a uh, slight upheaval, losing a lot of play, but you know, they brought also a few interesting players in, which we'll talk about in a bit. And uh, not, I don't know what to think about uh, uh, new coach Schroeder as well, because in Germany he was not that successful. But when I look at his racing, where there's an Ajax in there, there's a Barcelona, all its assistants, but you know, there is interesting stuff in there. Uh, and at that, uh, finishing out that round with a 2-0. Um, and then we can go ahead, I mean, uh, PSV, another pretty big win victory, 5-2 over the go-ahead Eagles. And this time, yes, uh, similarly as, as, as before, uh, Luc de Jong, who is back, scored a really nice goal. Simons or Bispo, you know, it was just, Sergio Barari was definitely all, all also have that. Uh, when, when it was 1-1, one, one, uh, that the uh, Eagles had to uh, have the player sent off and then Simons and uh, Wehrmann uh, round out the rest. I I really can see PSV doing some damage, but you know, let's see where, where, where it goes. A little bit of a downer was Feyenoord Kenin not being able to break down Herr in vain. Uh, that was a little bit uh, disappointing. However, Ajax uh, completely make up for their kind of shaky start uh, with a 6-1 destruction of Groningen. It was 1-1 one, one at one point in the 10th minute, but you know, I didn't realize that I accept bought Stephen Bergwijn from Spurs. He was actually a PSV player, so yeah, uh, he was uh, very, very uh, much involved in, in the whole thing, scoring the first and the third goal. Anthony also uh, running up, 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 up and down, and Bergwijn actually gets a third uh, right F after having a short period of time, they really put the game away. Uh, at 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, you know, uh, there were a few chances at Anthony, and he seems still a very selfish player in many ways. Um, but once he gets his goal, he actually thought, yeah, I can play off Bergwijn maybe a little bit more. Uh, Tadic also was involved, uh, but, um, you know, it's the same as always, they look so much better. And then even uh, Luca, the first Italian for Ajax, also made his day, 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 debut. I, the only thing that I have to say, and you know, especially in Europe, I'm leaning Ajax, maybe in the Eredivisie, uh, I, I can see that this is a little bit boring and, and so on, uh, supporting the big team. The penalty that Ajax got to make it 6-1 through Stephen Berghuis uh, was a ridiculous one because the defender, yes, uh the ball is hitting him it him here but he's jumping he doesn't see where the ball the ball is going and he's fall falling down to me this was a natural position but yeah i guess by the loss it is covered so uh those were the results from there i know i have also a z uh win a kind of kind of kind of a valve one against sparta late on where um you know uh, sparta took a very early through from Roy, Pavlidis just before half time stop each half time equalized then they take twice the lead Van Roy again can equal. Sparta seems like a team that, despite having relegation trouble, let, let, let's see, they could also be a little bit further up. So, uh, let's see uh, about the standings at the, at the moment. Uh, Ajax pays way both on top. I mean, uh, <laughs> in lockstep, Ajax still rated higher there. That's why they look better. Excelsior uh, promoted him already with two wins, uh, quite so, so surprising. Feyenoord uh, with on, on a draw, they were first after the first round, now they are only in sixth place. But you know, one cannot really say this is much, but we definitely see that Excelsior 20 and even AZ have more of a pulse by service. So look at the adjusted standings on the side, whereas the difference between um, the project would, would be how, how, how many points would you get with your array rating and expected is how many points I currently expect. So if there's a difference uh, with the results that you have already played, if there's a, di a, di a difference, it kind of shows. Uh, how much better you are performing. Uh, expect the standings. It is a three-way race, but it's also a tiered three-way race. Ajax, PSV and Feyenoord. I think we have um, the next few rounds are uh, rather interesting because the uh, next round, PSV and Twente, who have had, had both play qualification in Europe, uh, are given basically the week off to prepare for uh, these two games. Or, you know, don't they play the game, then they can recover and they play the second round and then uh, they have to make up for this game. Uh, Ajax has to play in Rotterdam, but uh, not against Feyenoord. Um, and then Utrecht Ajax seems like a pretty good game as well. So, you know, those are the upcoming games that we have for uh, the next uh, one and a half weeks, two and a half weeks, two and, uh, two and a half weeks uh, coming. So, yeah, uh, interesting stuff in the Eredivisie. Moving over 
to the kindergarten. Now, to Liga. Liga is not a kindergarten, it's a good league. The one thing I have to say up front, while you already see the results, uh, Liga is actually diminishing themselves to 18 teams. So we have, and I didn't put, put this in, in the preview, they have four relegation candidates, and I think this will spell trouble for quite a few teams. I mean, because four relegated teams, but I think for a 20 team league, this is not a bad idea, but it is a rather, rather rough schedule. Uh, the league kick kicked off with Lyon beating Ajaxo uh, with Tete and Lacazette scoring early. Lacazette, of course, come, come, come back. Uh, Ma uh, Magnani put one, one, one back, but it was always being uh, Lyon that had control. Um, Strasbourg against Mon uh, Mon Monaco was a relatively even game because Strasbourg was very well in the game despite uh, Monaco taking a 2 0 lead. Um, once they're taken uh, the, uh, through the op in the 50 50 30, you really thought that Monaco is cruising, but the other pole pulls back and then Strasbourg get the equalizer in stoppage time. Wild scenes in Strasbourg and then it's taken away by VAR, of course. Uh, not so wild scenes uh, in Clermont, uh, where PSG showed show, 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 show up in the away jerseys that I do not like all that, that much. Took Neymar, uh, Messi with a brilliant pass to, to Neymar, nine minutes to make it 1-0. Uh, when Hakimi, with either a, such a dry shot, he just takes it, boom, in Neymar as he's 26 2-0. Game done, Marquinhos as the third one, and then very late, late on is the Messi show. I watched the first, the first half and I have said it really looked like a PSG playing it seriously. Um, Mbappé was not playing, Sarabe played in, in, in there and, and I thought this was a really in, interesting uh, because he did all the defensive work for Neymar and Messi, the work that of course Mbappé is not bothering. Also Messi has now a, a kind of a new role, like a, a 10, he's more the uh, threading the passes towards Neymar, whereas Neymar coming in from his and Messi is a little, little bit more central. I thought this really in interesting, but actually this might suit PSG. Messi might have scored many, many goals. Uh, if he scores like this uh, bicycle kit that they did for the 5-0, five, five yes, it was not the most, most brilliant one. But you know, he takes the pass, he chests it down, and then he scores his first ever bicycle goal. It was actually a really, really nice goal over, overall. Uh, Toulouse come back to the league with a 1-1 over Onis. I think it's a very credible result. Uh, the other promoted team, Auxerre, um, getting flattened by Lille, 4-1. A uh, big shock, Lorient beating Rennes away from home to start the season through a Tate uh, own goal. And then Marseille um, having actually also not much trouble with us um, going over, rolling over them with 4 or 1, despite all the trouble that Igor Tudor, the new coach, is experienced. I mean, uh, imagine you're the coach of the new team. That's, uh, the the, the preseason went really, really badly because the players are not happy with your uh, coaching methods. And then the fans get on on, the, on your back, and so you're you're announced by the uh, and and announced like, here our new coach Igor Tudor, and everyone's whistling and booing uh, that you probably could have heard it up and down the Côte d'Azur. But uh, say is off to a good start. Four one. That, that's all I can say. Um, uh, in the last uh, goal, of course, is uh, Pat Patrick Benz, who was at Austria Vienna. Um, yeah, not the best day to the debut, and then he adding a little bit of fuel to the fire with, with an interview that I'm thinking was a rather ridiculous. Day. Everything is perfect in France the way that they are coaching, the way that they're training, everything, uh, the atmosphere, it's all perfect except for one thing you cannot find anything healthy to eat. And I don't know, isn't France the culinary capital, uh, capital of the world in a way? You know, at least they take they, 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 the claim. So I, I, I really don't understand that comment. I was really thinking, and you know, I'm Austrian, and France is at least was seen during the former times as the natural enemy of Austria. I, 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 I don't see that like it as all, but that does, 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 does make sense because I think French food a little bit healthier than Austrian food in multiple ways. Uh, the second uh, match day, actually there was one game postponed, we'll talk about that, but first Nantes against Lille 1-1. Uh, one, one. A game I, wa I wanted to watch but couldn't. Monaco against uh, Rennes was an absolute wild game. Um, Fofana, the red card for him, I think was a little bit rough. Uh, yes, he steps on the foot, but he was in the, in the motion. It was more accidental than anything. So I really didn't think this this was necessarily a red card. However, uh, Ren was a little bit so so, so surprised, and um, Monaco even got a penalty. 
I think Steven Mandanda uh, uh, pulled down who is now playing for Rennes instead of Marseille. Uh, pulled down uh, the observer, but uh, he saved the penalty. He has to come off. Uh, and Almadar uh, comes on. And then Laborde makes it 1-0. And at that point, Rennes has firm control. However, Breil Embolo uh, takes... This is also a slapstick goal where uh, Al Alemda has the ball. And he's dribbling his own arm box and Embolo just goes in and put 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 with the net. Later on he made a great save to kind of make up for his goalie mistake. But that did not look good, good at all. And in the end, I think while well, Ren probably would have deserved the win, Monaco really hung well in there. PSG against Montpellier. Uh yeah, that that's where the where the kindergarten started. I I really enjoyed watching this game because it really seemed again, it really seemed like a PSG are taking things seriously and it looked good. The only thing that did not look good is uh, the way uh, the way Mbappe took his penalty. But over, overall, I think Neymar looks sharp, Messi looks sharp. Yes, they took it a little a little bit slow. However, uh, when PSG couldn't convert their chances, I think there was a, also a brilliant Messi free kick in there. Uh, it was then Sako who decided, yeah, I'm gonna take this by myself. First, he scored an own goal after Mbappe shot. Uh, okay, can happen, should not happen. Uh, but then the way he makes the foul, uh, the, you know, I th didn't, didn't, didn't he already, he, uh, he was the culprit for the first penalty and then he was also the culprit for the second penalty that was seen, uh, handball of his while well, Messi was dribbling through there. And then the scene that everyone is talking about, uh, Neymar takes the ball, although Mbappé is the penalty taker. Mbappé says, give me the ball. Neymar doesn't listen. I have the ball. Mbappé, give it the ball, Neymar keeps the ball, Neymar scores the penalty in typical fashion, and then Mbappé didn't want to run anymore. Ah, it is so stupid. Uh, Neymar actually makes, makes it three by just taking uh, care of of uh, the unsorry Parisian uh, uh, Montpellier the, the, the defense uh, really bad. A uh, kick kicker from the goalie who actually had a really good, good game in the first half, but second half not there. Uh, Kasri pulls back and Mbappe makes his goal, but you could already see how annoyed he is by the whole thing. And Neymar goal was then disallowed, and Renato Sanchez kind of came on. The one thing I have to say Neymar is annoying, but Mbappe gets to me equally annoying at this very, very moment. He seems when he stormed on the scene four year, years ago, he seemed like a very level, level, a good guy. A great story, blah, blah, blah. But over the past two years, he's walking on my nerves with his attitude and behavior, unfortunately. And as I said in the intro, I think if they don't get this sorted, and now the news is that Mbappé wants Neymar to leave, get this sorted out that the coach needs to step in and say, okay, you don't need to be friends any anymore, but please work for the team. We have a larger goal here. If we, you saw how the Real Madrid dressing room elevated themselves by being united. With all these squabbles, there's no way that you're gonna go anywhere. And that's a big darn shame. It has to be said. The Lorient game, game against Lyon was uh, postponed because of an unsafe pitch. Seemingly there was a big festival at the stadium in Lorient that completely destroyed the pitch and the drought. Did the uh, the end, so that game has been uh, postponed. First game of Ajaxo at home is also nil nil. There were lot, lots of draws. The Stade Reims Clermont game uh, was uh, remarkable because Stade Reims had a two nil lead uh, through two penalties, uh, and then Clermont in the second uh, in the second half completely turns it around. Uh, and Mohamed Cham played for Lustenau, cooperation partner of Cler uh, Clermont, Austrian under uh, uh, player. Scores the go ahead goal to make it 3 3 2, but that was a rather, rather remarkable uh, win. Toulouse also a 3 0 win against Troyes. Troyes is one of those teams where one would have trouble. Nice, uh, Strasbourg is a 1 1, and then Brest probably sure should, 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 should have won against Marseille. Marseille, uh, yes, get the technically through Tata Tavares with a brilliant uh, equalizer by uh, Les Melou. I, I have to say, uh, at the end of, of the game, it really looked like Brest should have won that one. So, 
Uh, let's look at the current standings. I mean, after two two rounds, it's not much to to be said. Of course, PSG is already ahead. Marseille draw dropping points. Lille also dropping. So everyone else has has kind of already at least dropped points except for PSG. So that league uh, is going for 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 PSG. It will not 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 be a surprise. Lorient at the moment having only one game, so uh, it's a little bit deceiving. Uh, is up in the adjusted standings and have 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 having having a good 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 performance. But I look especially at Clermont uh, doing well. More, but yes, you know, uh, there are some positives, and on the bottom, so I have a few neg negatives. I think it's most interesting to look at the expected final standings. Uh, it's basically Monaco Lyon at this very moment, but again, we haven't seen much of Lyon. They've played the first game, game, game of the season, and then we didn't see, see, see much of them. But you see already four teams rally reg at the moment it's Clermont, Ajaxo, Auxerre, and Troyes. Let's see, I think that, um, that we, I think we could have a surprise team that will get relegated in France. Uh, as for upcoming games, uh, PSG is going to have a tough schedule, which makes for great watch watching. I think an early one is uh, Saturday evening, Monaco Lens and even uh, Marseille against Nantes. I think those are really, really exciting. And then it's Lille against PSG, the last two champions squaring off in Lille. And of course, current PSG coach and the champion coach of Lille going back to where he was so successful. So I think this is a really, really exciting one. Uh, and then the week after, um, we also have another big clash between PSG and Monaco. Uh, you couldn't have scripted it better. PSG is going to have a tough schedule uh, now. Also, we have the Côte d'Azur between Nice and Marseille at 3 o'clock this time around. I guess they want to have it in daylight uh, to have it a little bit safer. So that's also one to look out for. So yeah, that was it for me from those two leagues. Uh, I think they are a whole lot of fun. Yeah, a whole lot, a lot of fun, and the uh, headlines write themselselves very, very, very often. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!